Hello, everybody. All right, hold on a second. Let me have my word. Before this cringy piece of shit tries to teach you how to put a temporary tattoo on yourself using Inkbox, um, this is not a sponsored video. Inkbox is not sponsoring me. Studio Ghibli, if you could not come for me or my non-existent brand, because I do not own your design. There, I said it. I do not own that. Um, and also, I hate myself. This is a cringy fucking video. And it's not funny at all. I accidentally made it educational, so I try to make it funny in post. So I hope I get a giggle out of all y'all. But, uh, just to let you know, it's kind of not funny. Like, at all. Keep on watching to find out. <laughs> But anyways, here's this uh, cringy piece of shit video. Thanks for clicking, and I'll see y'all at the end. Welcome back to Entertainment. I'm going to be giving myself a temporary tattoo. Today I will be using Inkbox uh, Freehand Ink. It's kind of like henna, except it dries black and actually lasts for two weeks. I mean, I've used it before. It actually lasts for about two weeks. It kind of depends on where you do it. Like if you do it on like your palms, it lasts for a little bit less time. But like stuff on like your forearm or whatever, it actually does last for two weeks. I actually just got done doing one. I did like a mandala type thing. It was supposed to be that, but the stencil didn't turn out too good. Hopefully I'll be able to pull this one off. So I'm going to get started making the stencil. Okay, so I don't know how much of the tracing that you saw, because I'm not entirely sure if I hit the uh, record button on my super fancy second angle that I'm putting over there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I almost didn't hit record again. I've definitely now hit record. I made a mental note of it. It's in the video. I hit record. Uh, this is how much I have done of it already. Of it, I have done already. And I'm just gonna continue making the stencil. So, yeah. Okay, so the stencil's done. That is what it looks like after I traced it. I didn't trace it very well because the surface that I'm working on is quite a bumpy one. But this should be done now. If I just take the picture out, you can kind of see that it left ink on there. So I'm just gonna cut it out with some scissors. Okay, so I have my little cutout stencil and everything. Uh, it's pretty shit, but it's enough for me to go on. So now I'm gonna prep my forearm with some of the stencil transfer liquid. I'm just gonna put a little bead on there. Make sure I get everywhere that it's gonna be touching. Rub it around. Just make sure I have enough on there for the whole thing. I'm just gonna quickly position it. I'm just gonna add a little bit on top to really soak the paper and get it to lay flat. Now I just let it sit there for like two or three seconds. A little bit more than two or three seconds, but you know what I mean. Just let it be for a second and then peel it off. I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit here. Okay, now that that's all good and ready, we can start filling it in with the ink. I'm gonna put my glove on. Okay, I got my glove. Take some of the ink with a little cap off of it. Make sure to tap it down to the bottom, just on the table. And now we just fill in the stencil. Of course, you can always use your image for reference if you missed any details in the stencil.
Okay, now that it's been over an hour, it's time to peel this off, which is super duper satisfying, so I'm gonna bring you in real nice and close for this shit. Why aren't you focusing? There you go, hey, look at that. Super duper satisfying. And go. Okay, hold up. Stop. Stop everything. Can you okay, so please stop? Please? You just peeled off. Thank you. Anyway, I just wanted to <laughs> I just wanted to remind you guys. Um because this piece of shit does a really bad job of explaining it. Um, it cures within 24 hours. This is what I did on my hand. This is what I did on my arm. Um, which brings me to the next point. Don't rub it with rubbing alcohol because it makes it all faded and stuff. If you're wondering what that is, my cat got mad at me and scratched me. I do not cut myself. I'm over that. Been there, done that. That's That part of my life is over. Thank you very much. And don't rub it without wearing a rubbing alcohol because it makes it all faded. This one, I didn't rub with rubbing alcohol, and it looked perfectly fine. It's been like a week since I recorded that video because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Anyways, movie magic just changed my outro. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, click on some more videos of mine and go ahead and click on some of the links. I forget which side it's on, but it's one side of me. There's all the links, and there's a little dude below me saying go click on more videos. Which, you should heed that advice, thank you very much, even though they're not monetized, because I don't get enough views to monetize them. But anyways, again, thank you. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you've used Inkbox and what your experience was, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.